Good morning, guys. Welcome to another review from the Beta Berserker. Me, Matt. And it's Monday, it's warm, it's sunny, it's nice, the rain has gone away, thank God for that. And I've got a couple of reviews to you, for you guys today. And I'd like to say a huge, massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you guys out there that's supporting me over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and on here, helping me to support those small brands, promote them. And all I do here is completely 100% honest reviews. There is no BS blowing smoke rings up brands' backsides or anything like that. I'm here to give you guys my honest opinion. I'm not affiliated to any of these brands that I do. And everything I do is my own opinion. I'm completely unbiased. Because as somebody that goes out and works full time, there is nothing worse than going out, getting your hard earned cash and going out and buying products and bits and pieces and stuff like that that you get home, they're not particularly very good and they just sit there on the shelf gathering dust and it's a complete waste of money. And let's face it, the men's grooming industry out there now, whether it's beard, skin, hair products and stuff like that, is worth billions and it's hit kind of like this massive peak. So I'm trying to work my way through the minefield of stuff out there to see whether it's any good and give you guys my honest opinion. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And like I say, I'm over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt. So if you need a help with anything, support, promoting or reviews or anything like that, please get in touch with me because I'm here to help as much as I possibly can. Now, a few days ago, I got sent through some products from a Brit, uh, UK men's grooming company called Lock, Stock and Barrel. And they've sent me through some products to have a look at, see what I think of, do a couple of reviews. So I've got one review now, then I've got another review in around about a week's time. Some products of those to see what I think of. Because they've released a range of uh, three pomades and I'm waiting on the prices to come through for how much they are so that I can do the review for that. But they've sent me some other bits and pieces as well to have a look at. Now I have used the products, it is not just an unboxing. I'm not a massive, huge personal fan of unboxing reviews and stuff like that because unless you've used the product, how are you supposed to know what it's like? Just because the packaging's nice and it smells nice doesn't mean the product inside is gonna be great. As with all the reviews I do, I will be putting links down below to Lock, Stock and Barrel. So please feel free to go and have a look and check them out, they do loads of different stuff. And like I say, five products that we're gonna be looking at this morning. So we're gonna look at the packaging of the products, what the products are like, what they do, and then afterwards, gonna score them out of 20. So 20 being absolutely fantastic, 10 being just another same old, same old, and zero being I wouldn't touch it with a stinky stick. Now, out of the five products that I'm reviewing this morning, I have got favorite ones that I would use more over other ones but I'm here to tell you about them because obviously everyone uses different stuff on their hair and stuff and when they're doing it. So first of all, the packaging. Like I say, this is from Lock, Stock and Barrel. And that way around, sorry. Can't see upside down. And these are based in, British made and based in the UK and were formed in 2005. The nice thing with it as well is all of their products are completely animal friendly which is great to hear because I don't see why any animals should be tested on whatsoever. Um, but that is great to hear. And so their packaging looks like this. Uh, the hair products that we're reviewing comes in these little tubs, which we'll be working our way through. They've also sent the shampoo through uh, for me to have a look at, see what I think of and also a shave oil as well. So first of all, we're gonna talking about them. Now I'm gonna put my glasses on for this because I'm getting old, I've written quite a few notes down and everything. So, first one is called Disorder, which is a matte clay. Now the pots that they do with the wax and clays and stuff like that are 100 gram, 3.53 uh, ounce pots. Look like this, and made out of recycled plastic. And, 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 uh, and this is raw, seriously firm hold for the ordered, disordered look, 
lock, stop and barrel. Rub between fingers, apply to damp or dry hair. Avoid contact with your eyes. Yeah, because you don't want to be putting hair products in your eyes. Now, this is allegedly stronghold with a matte finish clay and it is water resistant, which this is. It looks like that. Uh, I have used this and it's definitely got a very strong hold to it. Um, like I say, it's not water resistant at all because it's kind of like got that sort of quality to it that it repels water a bit. Looks like that is very thick and clay like. And remember with hair products and stuff like that, don't throw too much on your hair to start with or on your hands. Literally, I've been using about so much, which is around about that, which is my whole head. Um, it's a really good product. It has very strong hold. I've used each of these products over um, the sort of past three days at work. And this one has got a really strong hold to it. It's holding my hair in style all day. Um, it is quite thick. I've noticed there's no residue or anything like that in the hair at the end of the day. Um, it is to a certain degree restylable, but it does tend to lock in that sort of hold and everything like that. And it doesn't have much movement to your hair and everything, but it's a good product. It has a slight scent to it, almost like a barbershop scent. I've noticed all three sort of like products do carry the same sort of scent to them, so they're not different scented. I like the packaging on it, nice and simple. You know exactly what it is because it says what it is on there, which is nice. There's no BS ingredients, uh, petroleum, so that's why it's water resistant. Cal uh, Calin, Serra Alba, no beeswax, sorry, um, settle alcohol, triglyceride, and diamotaceous earth as well. That's really good. It's got a nice strong hold to it, which is nice. Because I do like using pomades and stuff like that, um, which either high shine, medium shine, either grease or hybrid ones, which tend to be water soluble. I like that product. Moving on, we've got one called 85 Carats, which is this one. And this is the one with lasting control and flexible hold, which sounds a bit more up my kind of like alley, if you know what I mean, because it has a flexible to it, even though it's got hold and the reason we're here long lasting flexible hold has got it all lock stock and barrel get the result rub between fingers apply it to damp dry hair avoid contact with the eyes funny enough and it's nice that all these products do have ingredients and everything on the side of them i'm not going to rattle through all the ingredients again it comes at a hundred gram pot this one has got a stronger scent to this and it's kind of one of those barbershop scents if you know what i mean um if you've ever been well when you go to the barbers, it's kind of got that sort of smell of all the products and everything in there and the stuff they put in your hair, obviously. It's got that sort of smell to it. Now, this is really good at defining the hair and sort of like a bit of separation, if you know what I mean, rather than everything just clumped together in one sort of mess. It does kind of a bit of definition and separation in the hair. Um, it is a matte clay as well. And there you go then. Consistency, kind of like a clay. And I actually really like this one because it's got a good hold to it. I would say that the first one is a very, very strong hold. This is kind of like your medium hold, but it has flexibility to it as well. So it's not like your hair glued in one place. This and the next one that I'm going to be looking at are my favourite of the product so far. The Disorder I don't have a problem with, but it's got a bit too much heaviness to it. Whereas this one is quite light. It's almost like a whipped clay, if you know what I mean. And it's got a beautiful barbershop scent to it. But that's one of my favorite ones. And moving on, we have one called Ruck, Matte Putty. This one, uh, uh, the one with matte finish and firm hold, comes in the pot, the same as the others. And ingredients on the side, what does it say? For the unconformist, messy textured style with a firm hold, it's all you need. And the same how to use it. And this one is kind of like um, 
an aerated putty. You can see with the little air bubbles in there and everything. Now this is kind of, in my opinion, I know it's a putty and not a clay like the others, but this is sort of somewhere between these two that we've just had a look at. It's got that same barbershop sort of smell to it. It's almost like a cream. And this one has a lot more flexibility uh, within styling as opposed to the other two. And it's got, it kind of helps almost put a bit of volume in your hair as well. It's stuck to my finger. It kind of adds a bit of volume because my hair is quite, even though it's there, it's thinning a little bit on the top and the middle. So it does help to add a bit of volume to it. Nice bit of separation as well. So it doesn't look like your hair's clumped together. Um, a really, really good product. I like this one. Now I am in a toss up between the 85 carat, 85 carats and the ruck, which one is my favorite out of the two of them. Um, I sort of like used one and went, yeah, that's really good. And then used the other one and went, yeah, that's really good as well. So they're both almost kind of like on a level fighting for which one's on top. Um, I do like the clay possibly slightly more than the ruck because the clay does seem to have slightly more hold to it but they're both beautiful products i absolutely like them no problem at all with the disorder but like i say i am finding that it's a very 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 strong hold and with the, these two these will wash out quite easily because they're kind of like um, water soluble whereas this one uh, because it's got the petroleum in it, which I don't have a problem with, but you are going to need to wash your hair a few times um, in order to get the products completely out of your hair. As with all the products, not finding any residue, flakes and stuff like that. I've had no problems with dry, itchy, nasty scalp. And they're very good formulated products. And moving on, we have their shampoo, which is called Recharge Moisture Shampoo, the one that hydrates hair shampooing hydrant and our moisturizing cleanse helping hair behave we've developed our unique formula to effectively trap in moisture to the hair as you wash it leaving your hair tamed and nourished because in our experience moisturized hair tends to behave itself and as for us that's worth the effort because it's all you need lock stock and barrel massage into damp hair leave for two to three minutes before rinsing and this uh, comes in a 250 ml bottle and I'm finding with this as well it's making my hair feel a lot thicker um, not ridiculously thick because uh, you can't sort of really sort of like change what you've got but it's really good it does it's one of those shampoos that just seems to tick all the boxes for my sort of hair if you know what I mean cleans it really well it's got a nice scent I know it's got a flip top top but it's got the same scent as the uh, hair products and it does leave my hair feeling nice and soft. I don't have too much of a problem with my hair being all over the place and everything and sort of with moisture in my hair because I do tend to use decent shampoos on my hair. It's a really good product but like I say it does seem to be give me a lot more volume and thickness appearance to my hair which is nice and I like the packaging on it as well. They all kind of got that same look on it. And moving on, we have a shave oil. Now, this is Argan Blend Shave and Beard Oil, the fast dry oil that nourishes skin, lock, stock and barrel. And on the side, it might seem different from your usual foam, but we found a combination of Argan and natural oils is the perfect way to get the ultimate fast dry shave. Um, our original blend works just as well as moisturising beard to help keep the skin and beard looking their best. No oily residue or block pores, just smooth skin and beard and properly good and beard and properly good shape. And inside, there you go, that is their bottle of oil. And I believe this is, yeah, it's a 50 mil. And what's really nice with this as well is... It's a nice shave oil, if you know what I mean, because I, I tend to shave these bits as well, keep all the sort of hair, little hairs down and everything else like that and on my neckline. And it's really good shave oil. Um, helps the blade just glide straight over the skin and everything. Uh, the scent on this 
is very similar to the others. Um, it's quite a thick, viscous liquid. If you have a look at my hand, it's not runny at all. Same scent as the others. Um, and it's not a greasy, greasy one. There are some out there that are ridiculously greasy and that's why your razor kind of glides over it. I like the ingredients that they've got in here. Put that on the tattoos, because I've already done a beard this morning, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, da -da -da -da. I'm sure there are ingredients on here. There are. A lot of it's in foreign, which I cannot understand. But it's a really nice shave oil. Um, doubles up as a beard oil as well, because it's got the um, argan oil in it. But really, really nice, as you can see clear liquid in there and this comes in a 50 mil and it's great for the skin and the beard and not had any problems with dry itchy flaky scalp or anything like that and it's leaving my beard feeling nice and soft skin underneath feels nice and soft it's very nice like say for glide with the razor and everything like that no itchiness or red patches once i've had to shave and tidy up so then it leads me on to prices of these now I was kind of surprised because I was expecting like 15 to 20 quid mark on the products because the way they look and everything, and you know with grooming products nowadays, they they tend to be a lot more expensive, uh, sort of 15, 20 quid a pot of stuff. So the Disorder, which is the matte clay, I am, their prices aren't on the website, but I've taken the products that I have found from another website where all the products are sold. The Disorder, is £11.50. The 85 carats, which is this one, £12.60. The ruck is £12.60. The shampoo, £10.25. And the oil, £14.95. Now, with the shampoo, I would quite happily pay £10.25 for it. I tend to wash my hair sort of twice, maybe three times a week. And um, so it does, it's going to last a fair while. It's a nice kind of like liquid in there as well, shampoo. The oil, I think it's great because it doubles up as a beard oil. It's good as a shave oil if you like the sort of clean shaven look and everything like that. And I think it's a good product for $14.95. We quite happily pay that for it. The Disorder, yep, yeah, it's okay. Not one that I would possibly use due to the thickness of it and the amount of hold that it's got but again a great product and the 85 carats and the ruck 12 pounds 60 i think that's a good price for it i'd happily pay any of that for any of the products i do like the fact that they're all animal friendly so which is great i like the fact that all the um, packaging and everything is on it is recycled as well uh, the packaging that it came in was not sort of like plastic and stuff like that because I am now very interested and keen in seeing whether the products, when they are sent through, whether the packaging is recycled, recyclable, upcycled and stuff like that. So it's always a good thing to see. And customer service with them has been absolutely fantastic. They're always keen to tell me about their products. And... Uh, I'm just generally scoring rather than individually. Um, I'm going to score them all a 20 out of 20 because each one there is out of these three is completely different. And so everyone out there would, the, one of those would do for everyone out there, if you know what I mean, because we all use different things and everything. I think out of those three, there'd definitely be a product there that you like. I think the beard oil is very well made. All has the nice same scent on it, which travels through all the products. And I think out of my favourites, it's got to be the shampoo. I absolutely love the shampoo. Then it would probably be the 85 carats, which would be my top two. But I'm scoring them all as a range, 20 out of 20, impeccably made. Nice to see them coming from the UK as well. Not, I've got a problem with anywhere else, but it's nice to see the UK doing some good stuff. Nice to know they've been going since 2005. And... I think they're very nice. And thank you very much to Lockstock for sending those through. Lockstock and Barrel for sending those through. Like I say, I've got three pomades that have turned up in a set that they've just released, which is going to be the next review in about a week's time. I'm just waiting for the prices for those to turn up. But yeah, 
great products and I'll be putting links down below. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. I read each and every single one and will reply to them wherever applicable. Thank you guys, have a great Monday, even though you're probably at work or whatever. Try and have a great one because you only live once and make the most of it. So I look forward to seeing you a bit later. I've got another review coming up this afternoon, so stay tuned for that one. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on looking after each other. Keep on loving each other. Keep on growing those beards if you're growing a beard. And if not, whatever you're doing, have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing the next review from the Beardy Berserker. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.